Good morning. We are going to the gym this morning and yes, I have had my coffee already, but I'm going to have my pre-workout because I had my coffee around about six. It is now 20 to eight. We are going to the gym at eight. Oh, 10 to, probably leaving five minutes to be honest with you because I like to get there a little bit earlier because you know, trying to get the kids in the car is quite a task. Anyway, so I'm just going to have my pre-workout and I always put it in this little container because I usually go to the gym really early. So my tactic is to not wake anyone in the house. So have it all pre-ready to go. And I usually just have it in my gym bag, so I'll do it in the car, have it. So that's why I have it in here. So I have my creatine and my pre-workout. So the gym on a Monday later in the morning is pretty much just to utilize the crash. I would usually go early. I am an early bird when it comes to workouts. I prefer to just smash out a workout because that's when I feel I have the most energy and especially on somewhat of an empty stomach. However, I did have my banana this morning because it's been quite a while since I've been up and all I've had is my coffee. So I have my banana, I'll have my pre-workout and just before we've got ballet this morning straight after the gym. So I'm going to get a protein shake from the gym before we go to ballet. And that's gonna be my breakfast. So I'm gonna start cracking down on my calorie count a little bit again, because I feel like I really relax, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. However, I'm not feeling great for it. I've been going through a few things, um, family life and that. So I just lost my mojo, my motivation, and I've just been living, you know, just treading water basically. Um, but I'm not feeling great for it. So I'm, I'm trying to get back on the bandwagon with feeling better again. So I'm gonna track my calories again because I know that always makes a difference. Like when I'm eating my foods lately, I'm just, I'm feeling sluggish, I'm feeling gross. Um, I'm eating very similar to what I was eating, just, you know, not as tight as what I would have been, um, like strict. And then, yeah, just, I just need to tighten the ropes a little bit. So that's what my, my plan is, this is also my birthday week. So the, today being Monday, we have Thursday. Thursday is my birthday and I'm so excited about it because I always give myself a day off when it comes to my birthday. <laughs>
has been, I couldn't tell you, probably a good week or possibly more. My birthday has been, I didn't do any filming whatsoever when it come to my birthday. I just, I really felt like I just wanted to have a break from everything. I just didn't want to have to be thinking or doing anything for anyone. So I literally just had the day to myself and it was wonderful. Today I will be getting the kids, like when I get home, I'll probably do a little bit of work on the computer. Then we have a few things. I, I have some friends that have got an opening with their business. So I'd like to go and support them on their opening. And then my neighbor, my neighbor's turned three. So we're going to go to his little birthday party. So um, if I bring you along, great. If I forget, sorry. Business is going well. Lucas is changing careers. Um, lots of lots of things are going on. I've um, I mentioned also in the start of the video, I've had some life things happening. And I think that's come with a lot of my um, lack of motivation at the moment. When you just fall into a frump, like life things can be quite awful. So for example, I lost my nan. Um, I lost my nan um, quite a few weeks ago. We had to go to her funeral, which was back in our hometown. So we did a fair bit of traveling in that. And that's hit me harder than I realized. Like, you know, my nan, she was only shy of a hundred. She was three months shy of a hundred. And I feel like I probably shouldn't talk about it because I start to feel myself dwelling up even um, when, you know, almost, I think, yeah, it's, it's been a solid month, I think, or more. I don't know. Anyway, I probably shouldn't talk about it. And I said to myself, I wasn't going to mention it, but I just, sometimes I babble. Anyway, I think that's partly why I've lost a lot of my drive and motivation lately because life has happened and sadness really affects you. Hey, like incredibly. Anyway, I want to have an uplifting day. So, <laughs> sorry. I feel like I go around in ADHD brain sometimes, but anyway, um, I will get going into Kmart and I'll bring you guys along. I've got the kids, they're just currently in their pancakes, not pancakes, pikelets. Nana gave me some pikelets in a doggy bag, that's lovely of her. Um, so I did go to Kmart, picked up some stuff. Um, I also picked up, what else? I, oh, I've got a pair of shoes as well and I went into Target for that because I wanted to get some shoes for work. However, I'm just going to show you a couple of things that I got and that being from Kmart first. So shall we dive straight on in? First things first, these cute little squishies. These are not the Squishmallows or whatever they're called. These are just um, literally, I don't know, teddy style things. However, I bought these for the kids because they can alternatively be a pillow and in the back they store blankets, which I thought was a fabulous idea because any time that we are traveling in the car, um, you know, if it's early morning or whatever, I've got the aircon on, and the kids get a little bit cool and they want a blanket. They have a pillow and a blanket. And I just thought that was a very clever idea. Chloe loves cute unicorns, so it just made sense to get her this one. And Ari, he does love slothies. He's got a few slothy teddies. Um, so he's just got the brown blanket in the back. And I thought that was a great idea. This was a bit of a random choice, I guess you could say. Um, I'm looking just in the party stuff because I'm Chloe's birthday is coming up, so I'm just going to start prepping a couple of things for her birthday party. Um, this is like a grazing box, and I just have a few little ideas with this. However, 
I want to get, um, I want to start doing some little like picnics as such, whether it be with Lucas or whether it be with friends. And I really like the idea of having your own little grazing box. I just think that's a very clever little idea. Um, so it's literally just a grazing box with one of the lids and that's how you would buy it usually. So I just think it's a nice way of being able to um, create a, I don't know, a little bit of a catered event, event, event for your own self. So we'll see. It was only $4 or something. So see how we go. This is a doormat, and if you know me, you know that I like checkers. Lucas knows, uh, hates that I like checkers. However, he thinks it's ugly. Most things that are, are checkered are ugly. Um, however, I like it, and it's just a—it's actually like a one of that material. Shh, no, throw it. No, we don't throw our teddies, please. You'll—you'll you'll get them all dirty. Get them all dirty. You can play in your bedrooms with them. No. Off you go. So I'm gonna put this at the front door and we'll see what Lucas has to say about that. So I picked up these little latte cups and I did pick them up mainly for myself, but I am also gonna use them for my students for when I do my lash training because I have like a little brewing sort of tea set and it's not a set, it's just a brewing, um, I don't know, is it called? I don't even know what it's called. Like a, a teapot, I don't, uh, what are they called? A diffusing teapot is that what they're called um, and I picked up these little ones because I really like the um, the glazed sort of effect on them because they just it gives them a bit of character but because they're little I like that and they come in pink green beige did I say green pink beige green and like a burnt orangey sort of color um, so I can also have my own lattes in there but I really like them the size when it comes to organization, I'm always down for anything that's actually gonna make your life easier. And I feel like these little car bins are gonna be helpful for car trips, etc. Um, when I go out on our Mondays, when we have things that we've gotta do, the kids are stacking in the car and their rubbish usually goes in their lunchbox, whereas it can go into here. So it's just a little pop-up one and you just hang it on the back of your car seat. And I feel like that will be really handy, especially for car trips. I saw this little wavy table runner uh, a couple of times and I really love the coloring on it. The light soft pink and the red, I just, I'm really drawn to those colors. Um, so this can be Christmas, it can be for when I have people around for dinner, whenever I get around to that, I'll try and organize that whenever I can. But I really like this for a little bit of decoration for tables. Hair bands, a girl's gotta have hair bands and this is mainly for Chloe. So these are really great little hair bands. So they're just like a, I don't know, like they kind of feel like a stretchy fabric. Uh, I really like to get any type of hair bands that aren't going to damage our hair. So these are for Chloe. However, even at her young age, I would like to get her into looking after her hair. So. They're really nice and stretchy. Um, they kind of remind me of a stocking. That's what they remind me of. I just realized they remind me of a stocking and I really like the stretchiness of them and I just know that they won't damage her hair. Um, and then these are the tiny little bands. Like if I was to do braids or something in her hair and you just wanted to do little piggy tails or whatever, these, I have had these before and we went through all of them. Don't ask me where they went, but we went through them said Chloe's birthday will be coming up in November so I've got some little ideas for her birthday party and I picked up some stuff a little while back for that were on sale um, I think it was when I went back to Bathurst actually so it was quite a while ago um, and it was rainbowish sort of decorations and I saw these little invites at Kmart today so I thought for you know three dollars or whatever they were for an eight piece invite So that's her invitations for her birthday. Then we have a little cake topper. I have been sort of purchasing cake toppers over the years, custom ones. I decided just to get this one. That way we don't have to get any more custom ones and spend any money on them. So I thought it was just a nice little timber one. This pink one, this pink bag. Well, they're, they're going to be lolly bags for your friends for your birthday. Can I have this one for my friends? Can Your I friends can have them. You can have a lolly bag too. Yep. Can I have this one and the, 
and my friend can have this one, mm -hmm. please, because my friends like them. Can I give my hey, mom? Can I give my yep. friends the party bags? Mm -hmm. And they'll say thank you, Cole, and I'll say you're welcome. Perfect. You can do that. So we got, as you heard, some little lolly bags for Chloe's birthday and they come in different colors and apparently her friends are really gonna love those. So yeah, that's what I got for her birthday. And then I also picked up this candle cause I could not go past it. It is beautiful. It is a apple and cinnamon. It smells very nice. Smells kind of like the glass house uh, flowers, glass house candles to be honest with you um, and it's just got some gold writing on it and then this goes on top so it can also stay as decoration that's what I really liked about it um, it's got snow in it very cute it's got a little gingerbread house you can see that with the tree um, yeah so I'll be able to keep that once we are finished with it and then I ended up picking up some shoes from Target I was really struggling to find some nice black shoes that were like slides, like slip on ones. So I picked up these from Target and they were only $35. And they just, they, they looked nice. Like they will look nice under my black dress pants. So I was going to get some Doc Martens, but I am not spending a few hundred on shoes right now. No, absolutely not. So $35 had to cut it for these little black slides.